new episode man hopefully everyone's good out there i got a new album to react to but before we go over this album i'm gonna go over some of the music releases that i have coming up from my music the new song waldo that's dropping for december 4th and then after that track then i'll start talking about the new album that i'll be releasing for next year summertime of next year uh so make sure you guys stay tuned for that uh subscribe to the channel follow follow me everywhere where i have my music and content got a lot of music coming up a lot of singles to drop this is a um, another episode of album reaction where i go over the most recent rap albums of last year and this year today we're gonna do the new album by ian goodbye horses so like i already did an album by the same artist that album was not good i think it was a uh, valedictorian i think it'd be a funny idea to do another ian album his second album that he's ever released just because of the whole tyler the creator and ian feud that they have with each other it's not so much of a feud but it's just um tyler talking smack about ian just because you know he's like a, a little white boy making like black music essentially so tyler he's like sort of taking offense to that and sort of dissing the kid even through his music there is like parts in his music where he's dissing ian so i think it'd be a funny idea to do ian's album after i did tyler the creator's album earlier this week i won't really compare the albums but like i'm gonna give you guys my complete honest opinion about the album for this episode when i'm giving you guys my critique i'm gonna be completely honest about it and i won't be biased just because i'm more of a tyler fan than i am an ian fan so i'm not gonna just tear the album apart just because i'm a tyler the creator fan i'm gonna listen to the album well like i already listened to it but like i'm gonna basically take in the album and be completely honest with how i critique it from track one to the last one so we're gonna get right into this one just like every other episode i'm gonna play four of the songs out of the album just a snippet of it give you guys an example of how it sounds like so it's a little easier for me to explain my critique behind it and you guys will understand what i'm talking about a little bit more all right man so the first track i'll play off of this album goodbye horses by ian this first one's called out west <laughs> This next track I'll play, this one's called Loco. Uh, this next track I'll play, this one's called My Call. The last track I'll play, uh, this one's called Hate Me featuring Lil Yachty. So this is like his uh, hit. All right, man. So Ian, new album, Goodbye Horses. This is a new rapper, very, very new rapper, young rapper. Uh, a lot of people thought was an industry plant for the longest time just because of his uh, come up and how famous he got super fast. A lot of people were giving him that industry plant label. He's from St. Louis, Missouri, famous for social media videos like TikTok, shorts on YouTube. It's uh, part of the reason why he blew up so fast. He really understand social media how to use it how to promote himself how to market himself and eventually got him to where he's at now he's pulling millions of views off of his videos he's doing pretty well for himself as a young artist not that easy to do right to maybe put out one song that gets that picks up a lot of attention and to stay like consistent with it. When you look at it that way, Ian is definitely doing his thing as a young artist. What he's doing is definitely not easy to do. So, you know, you have to give him a little respect for that. The music now, we're, we're, we're about to get into that. Ian's also famous for being that rapper that Tyler, the creator, dissed. He's basically being interviewed and he brings up Ian and he basically says how Ian's like a culture vulture coming from like a rich family. Tyler, he's not like a fan ended by it but he kind of pokes fun at Ian for for basically that he has nothing to do with the streets but he's making street music so I think that's the main thing that Tyler was getting at and he even disses him a little bit on his uh, most recent album Chromacopia this is the rapper that Tyler is dissing basically this is the this is the kid right here like I said before I say what I'm gonna say I'm being completely honest I'm not like saying what I'm saying because I'm a Tyler the creator fan you know what I mean there is no hate in what I'm saying I'm being completely honest 
this based off of what I heard off the album and I'm always like this I'm never biased with what I say about an album if the music's good the music's good if it's bad it's bad I'm gonna be completely honest I feel like you shouldn't be like that as a music critique right so this is my honest honest point of view about the album I think it's terrible it's not because uh, I heard Tyler's album and I'm comparing it comparing the two so i'll say the good things about the album there's a lot more bad things than good things for the good part i think he has a lot of talent in terms of singing and melodies i think if he switched over to singing and with the use of autotune i think he would be a much bigger artist in the game and i think it would suit his like image more with that sound he's a great singer man he really is and it's not just the autotune you can definitely tell that the kid can sing even without the autotune autotune doesn't really do that like that much you actually have to know how to sing in order to use autotune so it's not like just a computer generated voice that's covering your bad vocals and it's just fixing it you actually have to know how to sing in order to use autotune you can have a like a bad singing voice with autotune because you don't know how to sing if you get what i'm saying this kid knows how to sing so i'll 100 give him that part there's a market for the type of sound that he's going for it's like more of like a new school style that a, a lot of old heads are gonna hate but a lot of younger people that are like currently in high school right now maybe like first year of college those kids like the sound that ian's making you know what i mean with the production and the uh, melodic sound that he's coming up with so like there's a whole industry for that on a business point of view it really sounds like he's just trying to gain as much clout as he possibly can with the style that he's using. It's like he's not really taking the music itself seri uh, as serious or himself as a serious musician and artist. I think it's more like a business plan. Like he understands the sound that he's using, how it can really propel him to the heights that he wants to go to in terms of clout and fame. So on a business point of view, it's actually a pretty genius idea in terms of like what he's doing with the album but that's on a business point of view and that's all the good things i can really say about the album if you're critiquing this album in a music point of view it's horrible it might it's way worse than his first album Val Victorian. i thought that album was far better than this one i think he had a lot of fresh ideas going on on that first project that he put onto this one but there's no improvement it's almost like he went the other direction with it there's maybe like three out of the 13 songs that I thought was pretty decent. It's like he put his full attention and effort into producing those songs. After he completes these three songs that are the best in the whole album, it's almost like he kind of gave up and flamed out every other song on the album is like a filler track all of the beats outside of the three songs that i thought were actually good those beats outside of the three songs they all sound unfinished they're all like the same length the same style the same formula being used it's almost like you're getting the exact same experience from every single song he has a great singing voice and he understands how to use autotune right you almost wish that he would go that direction with the full album and be a little more artistic with it instead of just making every song sound the same just like his favorite rapper you can really hear it through the music and it just like throws you off it makes you feel like you're listening to somebody trying to sound like someone else basically the whole time everything he's talking about does not match how he looks and his whole persona is just i don't know man everything is just so off with this album when you really think about it this guy's got a lot of haters there's a lot of people that love his music and all of that but he also has a lot of haters everything that you can think of why people would hate ian and his music he basically takes all of those reasons and he projects them to the highest level on this album in a sense it almost seems like he knows what his haters hate about his music that's what he goes for basically it's like he's purposely trying to aggravate all his haters all at the same time through this album here and he does it like the entire way and it's not the music specifically or the name of the album the whole concept of the album what the name means based off of the name of the tracks you know what i mean the album as like an art piece as a whole it has nothing to do with that it's like he ignores the concept that he was trying to do with the album and 
in his mind, he's just like, yo, I, I just want to piss off all these haters. I'm, I want to aggravate everybody who hates my music to the ultimate extreme, to the highest level. That's what he did on this album. Instead of just ignoring the haters and creating a, a great album through the music skills that he carries, the singing, the beat making, everything that he brings to the table, brings to the table as an artist. And he doesn't even have to be too serious, serious about it. All of the attributes that he carries as an artist, he could have taken that and just focused on that try to make an album that's better than valedictorian that people can appreciate in terms of like music and as like something that you can play at a party and dance to because like i think his music has more of like a party appeal to it he could have kept that and also made something that music lovers can enjoy at the same time and i think he has the skills and the talent to do that based off of hearing valedictorian there's like a lot of sounds on that album that's promising for the future that I thought he can develop on like a future album and project like this one here, Goodbye Horses. But it's like he went the opposite direction with that man. He like stopped caring about making something like good and trying to trying to improve as an artist and instead went the opposite direction, made something that's gonna maybe gain him more clout and gain him more money, but there's no artistic value in the music. Everything is just like, sounds like the same track because he's using the same business formula for every song so that the album blows up more so than him getting a lot of music people to talk about it and take it serious. And maybe he's not a serious artist the whole time. He really is just trying to like blow up, become famous and make money off his music. And there's nothing wrong with that either. But like when you're taking this in as like an album album, a rap album with a music point of view, it definitely doesn't do it, man. Yeah, I honestly thought this is one of the worst albums I've heard so far this year. Like a huge disappointment. I thought it was gonna be a little bit better than I thought, especially after after a song like Hate Me featuring Lil Yachty. That song's pretty good. I thought the album was gonna sound like that the whole way, but it's like he put his full attention into songs like Hate Me and then that's it, forget about everything else. That's the vibe that I got from this album, which is the reason why I thought it was terrible. It's cool that he can get artists like Chief Keef and Lil Yachty featured on the album and those are probably the highlights of the album. The fact that he got those two rappers featured and those are two of the best songs on the album it really sounds like he he rushed it just a bit really wanted to slap it together and just put it out like i was saying earlier the best part of the album his use of autotune the fact that he does actually have a pretty good singing voice for the most part and he really understands how to use the autotune so that's the only highlight of the album and i mean it, the album could have been a little bit better if he stuck to that i think he'd be a better artist if he stuck to singing the entire time when he raps it just it doesn't sound like he's taking it serious at all and it's just an, a complete joke to him but when he sings it, he sounds a little more serious so it, it's an interesting thing the lyrics are a lot more serious when he's singing compared to when he's rapping so i don't think it's gonna matter because of the type of image and the way he's being marketed and it's just like a white boy from the suburbs making uh, trap rap music. That's what's getting people interested in him and his music. So it's not really the music itself. So I don't even think it matters if he's a singer or a rapper. He's going to have a good career no matter what. In terms of the music itself, it's an, a horrific album, bro. Definitely one of the worst albums I've heard. Maybe in my life, man. Actually, not even just this year, but altogether in my life, I think. He should have made more songs like Hate Me featuring Lil yachty because i actually think that song's pretty good in terms of a rated man i'm giving this one a 3.5 out of 10 that's right 3.5 out of 10 that might be the lowest rating i gave an album so far this year but like let me know what you guys think if that's too low of a rating on a business perspective he is doing his thing he's gaining a lot of plays and views and fans all together you know what i mean it won't be too long until he becomes one of the most famous rappers in the world whatever he's doing it's working out to some artists it's just a matter of becoming famous and monetizing off of the fame for a lot of artists that you hear nowadays the music doesn't really matter at all and it's just about how much clout you have how famous you are somehow you make money off of that but like i'm a music person for me to critique this 
3.5 out of 10, man. Yeah, man. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. Check out Hashtag Indica. Mixtapes out on all platforms. The new song, Waldo, that's set for December 4th. Plenty more music to come for the future. Got a new album I'm working on for next year. So, subscribe to the channel. Like, comment. That's all I got for today, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And I appreciate you guys watching, man. I really do. I'm out.